interesting episode. So the thing I love about our off-brand culture server is that even though we have a lot of projects that we're all individually working on, we also have loads of these really cool collaborative projects where all of us build things together, like our amazing high street, where we all have these buildings that we can build inside of, build shops or stores, or places like our mini game district, which currently doesn't look like much, admittedly. But as you can see, we have some very cool ideas in store. Maybe we'll get to those in 2024. And even our massive Liverpool Cathedral project that is still quite a work in progress. And so today I'm going to tap into a little bit of that collaborative teamwork we have on our server because I need some help. Look, I can do a bit of redstone, I can do some maths, but I'm not a massive creative builder. As you can see behind me, I've left a little note to one of the people that's going to help us today. I've made a circle. That's about what I can do on Minecraft. And we are currently on the nether roof. This is where we do all of our traveling. We have some rail systems set up to the different parts of our server. And it needs a little love. It's kind of dark and spooky and scary and that's there. And so we want to kind of spruce up and put a little color and life into this first area that you'd step through and then come out to explore the rest of our world. So let's go get some help. All right, so first of all, we are going to fly over to Lauren's, her amazing little mushroom build, or big mushroom build, I should say. Hello? She's not upstairs. Uh, where are you? There we are. Um, you need help. Hello, I we need- I need help with lift. Yeah, I need help figuring out your base. I need, we need help building our nether hub. You up for the task? Yeah. Amazing, Sounds cool. Good. Let's go find Freya. Um, how do you get out of here? <laughs> Should we fly out of the bedroom? Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, let's do it. Freya. This is the most thing ever. Freya. Oh, there's some. Hi. Oh, there she Hello. is. Freya. Oh, I, didn't even the <laughs> I need your building expertise because I don't know how to build that well. So, um, can you help us build the Nether Hub? Yes. Amazing. I, can do that. I hope that you have come with a lot of cool materials and a lot of cool plans. Yes. All right, let's uh let's head to the Nether Hub. Right. So, as I already said, I made this giant circle. It looks like Freya has been doing some test building over there. Freya, tell us about the plans for our Nether Hub build. We are going to make it very purple because everything in off -run culture is purple. <laughs> Amazing. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna kind of look like a spaceship. That's the vibe I'm going for. Alien, spaceship, dome, coolness. It's gonna be fun. I'm very excited. Right, let's get building. <laughs> While we're doing a time lapse, uh, we built this little confessional booth type thing. You know, if you watch like a show like I'm a Celebrity or Big Brother or any reality TV show like that, they kind of talk about themselves and like how much they hate each other and stuff like that. Well, on Off Brand Culture, we like to do things a little differently, obviously. And so we thought, let's be a bit humble. Let's talk about the things that we do that no one else knows about on this server. And also, let's celebrate each other. Let's talk about the things that we enjoy about each other and the ways that everyone on this server are really cool people. So enjoy. I'm very nosy. And so I like to go into people's bases and look through their chests, not to like steal anything, I definitely don't do that, but I just like to look in their chests and see what they have, because I'm nosy and just curious what items people have, what things they found in the Minecraft world, and just like to snoop through their stuff and then just leave, leave it all alone. It's kind of weird. 
I have very unorganized chests. You don't even know. I have like eight different chests. And at the start of building my house, I had it nicely organized, but then I ran out of space. And now I have a load of chests that are titled lots of different things like food and building materials. But now they're just full of dirt and cobblestone and all other rubbish stuff. I can't keep up with it. It's really bad. So when I go mining and I have too much of a block, I have took it upon me to hide extra resources in Matt's base and wait and see how long it takes him to notice that there's a lot of extra stuff in his chest that aren't meant to be there. So I really hope he's not watching this. But yeah, that, that, that's my secret. As I said earlier, the thing I love about this server is we do things a bit differently. As Christians, we try and live the way the Bible teaches, and there's a verse in the Bible that I've been thinking a lot about recently, and I think it really is almost the motto of our server. I've taken the Bible from our cathedral again because I want to show you the verse that has inspired this episode. Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 through 4 say, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Thinking of others is better than yourself. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. A lot of times in the Minecraft or YouTube world, it's all about, look how impressive I am, or I'm the best content creator, more people should watch me. And it's really exhausting and can be quite discouraging to just operate your life like that. And it can really impact your mental well-being as well when you're just looking at the numbers or comparing yourself with others or trying to outshine other people by putting them down. What I love about the way we play on this off-brand culture server is we celebrate each other. In these episodes, I want to show you everything everyone else has made. Now on that train of thought, let's head back over to the confessional booth because we had some more things to say. Something really cool about Buildbank is his attention to detail. Like, we're building the Liverpool Cathedral, and I used to live in Liverpool. And the first time that I saw the beginning designs of the cathedral, I almost cried because it was so on point to what the cathedral looks like. It is so amazing. So yeah, just his attention to detail is really cool. Lauren, she's well prepared. She's got all her shulkers in her ender chest, and it's always handy because I never have anything that I need and Lauren always seems to have it all put together. The thing about Breadcrumb is that he hasn't been playing Minecraft for that long. He has kind of now. It's been just over a year, a year and a couple of months. But literally for his building skills and his way of playing the game, he went from 0 to 60 real fast. The fact that he's only been playing for what's really in Minecraft terms a short amount of time is absolutely incredible. It's really cool how quickly he's been able to develop those skills and it's great to see how much he's learning about the game in such a short space of time. So the thing that's really cool about Freya is her creativity and the way that she makes blocks like purple and just these random things really work in builds and her paths are super cool just the way that she combines so many different things together and I wish that I had that kind of eye for color and things that go together well because I think it's so cool. When you start focusing on blessing other people, helping them, complimenting them, rather than just yourself, it really makes life so much more enjoyable. All right, and it is finished. Time for the final reveal. Ooh. It is massive, it looks so good. I love how Freya just took all the different purple blocks in the game, basically, even purple, and made this epic build. That will be an amazing entryway into the nether hub. Now the only thing it needs is a bit more detail, so let's just take care of that. Okay, so admittedly, that loads of detail. I added a bit of stuff around the edge and 
uh, spruce up the middle portal just a little bit. But what we're going to do on upcoming live streams is kind of extend all of the rail networks into these hubs. You'll see that we have one going to the Cherry District and into the Desert District, into the End. So we're going to do that in our live stream. So definitely check those out in the upcoming weeks. And we're really proud of this build. It's uh, the biggest build I think we've done on an episode yet. And I could not have done it without Freya and Lauren Tilp, especially Freya's design and Lauren doing a lot of the building for us today. So big thank you to those two. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you think of the build down below. Do you like all the mixture of all the different purple blocks in the game? I think it's pretty cool. Give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next episode. And before we head out, let's just see what this looks like with shaders, why don't we? Psst. By the way. If you made it to the end of the episode and you're like, why the heck is he dressed up like a Christmas Spider-Man? Let's just say next month's episode is going to be epic. Bye.